What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Exotic Agent. We are here in my hometown of Illinois. It's raining, so I got my sweatshirt on, but if you guys saw my last video, I was kind of rambling a little bit about what I bought next, what vehicle in my garage, and well, today is the day I'm showing you guys what I bought. But like I said, we are in Illinois for the reason being, well, I had this thing shipped to Illinois, which I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit later in this video, so stay tuned why I had it shipped to Illinois, but we are here, it is raining outside, but it's right here in front of me, I cannot wait to show you guys. So with that being said, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and also drop me a DM, drop me a comment, I respond to all of them, I love chatting with you guys. But this thing has been on my channel before, not this exact one, but I've driven something like it. I've talked about it over and over and over. And finally, guys, it is mine. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Let me introduce you guys to the brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator. Oh yeah, look at that thing. It is ridiculous. I've got black on black on black. Welcome to the Jeep Gladiator. Jeep boys, oh yeah, I'm in the game. Okay, so I've had the Jeep Gladiator for about 500 miles, and there are a lot of things that I absolutely love about this Jeep Gladiator. Now, I've ridden in Moab and a lot of friends' Jeep Gladiators and a lot of regular Jeeps, but I've never actually had the opportunity to drive it. I mean, come on, I ordered this thing, I've never driven it, sight unseen, I'm in baller status. I mean, I didn't even drive it. Who does that? I mean, who really does that? Come on. But anyways, like I was saying, this thing has some amazing perks to it. Now, I went with the Sport S. I didn't go the Rubicon route. There's a lot of things on the Rubicon that the Sport S doesn't have, but I personally would never use those. I'm looking for a mall crawler, but I bought this thing stock. It has stock wheels. Everything about it's stock. I put a couple things on there, which I'll tell you guys here in a minute. But other than that, everything's completely stock. For now, I am going big on this one. I'm going top notch everything. I got my buddy Jeff from Alpha Jeep, who you guys have seen before in my Moab video, who's hooking me up and I can't wait for it. However, a lot of the things are on back order, so it's gonna be staying in Illinois for about a month or so, maybe all summer. So I don't really want this to be a car review, but I'm gonna go through some of the things that I absolutely love about the Jeep Gladiator. Okay, number one, here's the key. The key's huge. A lot of people have already done reviews on the Jeep Gladiator, so I'm not gonna go through everything. But number one that I wanted to make sure that it had was this. Remote start, baby. So when I'm far away, this thing's starting up by itself in the air condition in the hot summer of Arizona once it gets out there. Also, what else is really cool is that when you hit it again, it turns it off. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, so you hit the unlock button right here, and then you get into the doors. Well, that didn't work. You gotta hit it twice. All right, and look at this. So here's the interior of my Jeep Gladiator. Now, some of the things that I wanna tell you guys about are I went with the 8.4 inch display, which is all the way around. Now this is about $2,000 add-on. Also, one thing that I was very particular in getting is I wanted the winter package. And what that means is I've got a heated steering wheel, heated seats, and heated uh, passenger seats and the big display. Now I know a lot of you guys are asking me, why do I need heated seats and a heated steering wheel when I'm living in the heated state of Arizona? Well, to tell you guys, when you go to Flagstaff, if you guys have ever been to Arizona, Flagstaff is cold and you know, I'm kind of a wuss. So I wanted to make sure that my bums were warm and my hands were warm when I was driving this thing. All right, so let's go into the driver's side. Hop on in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys. We've got the Jeep emblem. He crawls across there. I love that, that's super cool. And here's the big display. I'm gonna turn the music down so I don't get flagged. This is 8.4 inch screen display, I believe. And what else is really cool is that I have Sirius XM radio. I know, I'm a little old school. I have never had that before, but I have all of my channels right there. I've got the heated steering wheel, the heated seats, which I use on a rainy day like today. And then I've got all of my knobs. It's amazing. The way the shifter feels is so cool. And the way that this feels is just incredible. And the driving experience is just something else. I, I, I can't even say it. I mean, I absolutely love this Jeep. I mean, this fits me better than any Mercedes, better than any luxury vehicle. A Jeep 
is just raw and manly. I love it, I absolutely love it. Okay, so I wanna take you guys through some of the things that I've done and some of the things that I'm going to do. So first off, this is not stock. This is an infab side steps. I ordered these online, had them shipped to my hometown of Illinois, and then my dad actually put these things on and they hold up pretty good, as you can see. So that's number one. Number two is that this was 20% tent, this was zero. I got this 20%, so it's all throughout 20% darkness. You can't really tell much on the camera, but you can kind of see right here that it's a different tent. Now, another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this bed liner. My dad put a little bit of this in here for now, but all of this is gonna get sprayed in like that rough Teflon, I don't actually know what it's called, but it's, it's durable. Trust me, it's durable. Another thing that I was thinking is I'm getting rid of all of this. I'm gonna put Neff Real Estate or I'm gonna put nefrealestate.co right there. Getting rid of that. See ya. See you later. Bye. All right, now we're gonna talk about suspension. So what I'm thinking for suspension is I'm doing a two and a half inch lift kit, Falcon shocks. I think they're called the, the piggyback or piggy something. Basically, you can adjust the shocks right inside there on the fly. They're super cool. My buddy at Jeff, my buddy Jeff at Alpha Motorsports hooking me up. These buddies, Bridgestones, stock, gotta go. 37 inch tires. I know a lot of you Jeep guys are like, it's unnecessary. I know, I get it, but I have to do it. I just have to. So I'm going 20 inch rims with 37 inch tires. This guy is going to be jacked up and I cannot wait to start mall crawling. Yeah. I'm gonna be mall crawling. Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to get another exhaust. Now, I've been researching a lot on the exhaust and I'm gonna go with the Borla Attack. I don't know if I'm gonna do the turndown. Now, let me explain what the turndown is. The turndown right here is basically, it goes down like this. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this either exit here, which is a single dual tipped exhaust, or I'm gonna have it exit here and exit on the other side as a quad tip, two on the sides. Now the reason that they do it on the sides and they don't shoot it out is because if you hit a big bump and you're rock crawling and not really mall crawling, that means that this thing is going to fall on your exhaust and well, it's no longer gonna be around, I'll tell you that right now. Now some things I haven't seen other people review on the Jeep Gladiator is this. First of all, I wanna tell you guys that the sound system is amazing. I wish I could play this for you. There's a sub on that side, but this is the coolest part of the Jeep Gladiator, is that when you lift this up, look at all that room. It goes all the way across. I have my book bag there, otherwise I'd lift it up. It's got storage for guns, for whatever you wanna store under there. It's just, it's so much room. And I don't know if you guys saw this, but all of your bolts go right inside there when you take the tops off. Another really cool feature that comes in handy because I'm always working in the car is this outlet right here. Now I can plug my computer into this thing and well, I'll never lose juice again. But like I was saying, I don't really want this to be a car review. I'm just super stoked about the Gladiator. I'm super stoked to take you guys on my journey and I cannot wait to explain all of the parts that I put on this, why I put it on this, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. So this video may be a little short, but like always, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.